Jump to Dash creators are people that you don't think are that bad at all. They stick to what they are doing and do no harm, but that's not the case all the time. Today, we are going to go through Jump to Dash players who became criminals. Guitar Hero Styles Guitar Hero Styles is a massive Jump to Dash Spanish YouTuber with over 2 million subscribers. He was accused of acting very inappropriate to women, actually, very inappropriate in fact. There are many victims of the Adby situation, or several Discord screenshots of Adby acting odd. After the allegations were made, Guitar made a short video explaining the situation and everything. Guitar's channel is not banned, and he's still uploading videos like nothing happened. Amor Ultra Amor Ultra was an Indonesian Jump to Dash YouTuber turned into one of the most famous Friday Night Funkin' modders. With his Friday Night Funkin' mod, Bob and Bossit, he has over 190,000 subscribers, but he had more. Amor was exposed for owning an innocent W account on Twitter, and for many Discord screenshots, just see for yourself. And after that, top of loading on his YouTube channel, and he is losing subs to this day. Just a GD player. Just a GD player is a Russian Jump to Dash showcaser YouTuber. Is that a word? He currently has over 70,000 subscribers, and this YouTuber was the most recent YouTuber to get exposed. One month ago, Just a GD player was accused of making really interesting jokes about children, or should we say, being a pe. After the allegations, Just a GD player made a community post basically talking about the drama and owning up to his mistakes. Currently, his channel is still up and running, and he is still uploading videos like the usual. Before this video ends, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Tov for the inspiration of this video idea. Also, this video took several days to make, so I'd really appreciate it if you subbed. It would mean the world to me. Anyways, I'm going to go.